it's always good to see the goat. Look at him, the Hall of Famer, the Super Bowl MVP, looking smooth, working with Marriott. Jerry Rice, good to see you, my friend. Good to see you too, Mark. You the goat too, though, brother. Okay. Uh, no, 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 no. You're the greatest we, of all time, man. Come on, man. <laughs> I, I might be the greatest of all time at something. I'm not exactly sure what that is. I feel completely uncomfortable having the goat call me the goat when you're the goat. I mean, we got, we do have some, we got multiple goats out there. We got MJ the goat. People want to say Brady's the goat. But when people but, say, hey, listen, wait, 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 but, but wait, Mark, yeah. goats are not just for athletes, you know, it's for other people too in other professions. Yeah. The, the goat of computer programming, he's out there. I got it. I got it. The goat of checkout people at the supermarket, you know, he or she is out there too. I'm with you. I feel you. The goat of Marriott Bonvoy. The goat of Marriott Bonvoy. Oh, well, since you brought it up so, so, so seamlessly. What, what, what excites you about your partnership with Marriott, Jerry? Well, it just brought back great memories. And also, we, uh, I had the opportunity to do a youth football camp with uh, these uh, young kids and, uh, you know, just had so much fun. And I'm going to do a virtual chat, uh, you know, with uh, coming up this weekend, too. So I'm excited about that. And just trying to get, you know, give people the insight in on what these guys are thinking the night before the Super Bowl, you know, the butterflies, all of that, how they prepare for it. And, uh, you know, with um, Marriott Bon Void, uh, they're the hotel of the NFL. And I have two moments that are so exciting. And, you know, I'm glad to be a part of, but it's a package where you cannot buy. You have to use your points. And okay. you have to stay at a Marriott or you have to use your credit card and you use those points to uh, purchase, uh, you know, the packages. And we also at, at the courtyard Marriott at SoFi, think about this, the stadium suite. You're going to have the opportunity to sleep in the stadium the night before the Super Bowl. Now, I prided myself on being the first one to the stadium, but I don't think I can beat that. That is that is really just amazing. But you can go to uh, moments.marriottbonvoy.com uh, and get more information. Noon kickoff, what time did you show up? I was always on the first bus. Okay. okay. Always there. I, always on the first bus because I, I wanted to go over. I, I, I didn't want to feel rushed or anything like that. I had to lay my uniform out a certain way. It had to be, you know, from new shoes, new socks. Uh, the pants had to fit a certain way. The jersey had to be nice and tapered. So it took a little time. That's why I always yeah. went on first bus. See that in the NFL, in the in the in the in the league, in the NBA, hey, we get to see at least some pregame. And Patrick Ewing, he would have his two bottles of water. I don't know if you know this story, but Patrick would he would unscrew one of the bottles of water, take one sip that was always going to drink of that, put it back down, yeah. drink the other one. So that that was now, you know that was Patrick. I gotta tell you a story. Uh, I gotta you, tell you a story. You uh, Deion yeah, Sanders, yeah. he had these yeah. boxers that had dollar signs on them. That he always had to, he always <laughs> had to wear those before the actual game and stuff like that. But you know, a lot of guys and rituals and all of that. Uh, you know, we have to do that. And like I said, I always had to have a new pair of shoes. We, I talked to uh, Terrell Davis. I think it was yesterday, and and Heinz Ward. They're they're working together. And Hines said before the Super Bowl, he didn't sleep at all. TD said he, he slept like a baby. Like Welcome well, to the club. I, yeah, well, I didn't sleep at all. Okay. Okay. I mean, I'm Mark. I was up all night long processing, uh, playing the game over and over in my head because we always put the first 15 plays in, and I knew exactly the opportunities that I would have during the football game. So I'm up playing the game all night long. Then I can't eat breakfast. Then around 10, we have a quick meeting. Then I head to the stadium on the first bus. I put my uniform out. I put the uniform on, decided to relax on this table just a little bit, and I fell asleep on the table. And my teammates walking by like, what is going on with Jerry? This is the Super Bowl, and he's asleep right now. But I was tired from, from last night, <laughs> not being able to sleep. Did you? How many times do you think you did that, fall asleep on the table before the game? I, I did it every uh, every Super Bowl. 
Wow. Wow. Because I, I every Super Bowl, and I get asked this over and over, they say, well, the first one, you know, you might be nervous, all of that. And uh, the second one, you should be more relaxed. No, I was the same way, the second, the third one. And I think it was just that, you know, I was ready to play football and I, I was willing to do whatever I had to do to uh, help my team to win. Yeah. How do you explain your consistent desire? Like you get to the top. It's one thing to get there, but you were motivated to stay there. Most rece- uh, most receiving yards of any uh, player in his 40s. You, I mean, you're already a consensus greatest receiver of all time, Hall of Famer and all that, but you still had the motivation to keep going. How do you how do you explain that part outside of love of the game? I, I think just uh, not getting complacent. Felt I felt like I owed the fans uh, something really special when I stepped onto the football field. If they paid their money, money I wanted to make sure that they uh, – they witnessed something that was special, man. I, I mean, to walk away from that stadium and say, you know, like, oh, my God, did you see him catch uh, 127 or, you know, something like that, you know, just so my thing, it was all about, uh, you know, just uh, playing the game for the fans. Yeah. If you're coming out to see 80, you're going to see 80. I, I, I hear you. I hear you. I, I, I mean, I was <laughs> I worked hard all week long. It was all about the preparation, and, and I felt like you had to lead a certain way. And, uh, and my teammates knew that, uh, you know, the way I practiced, you know, during the week, it was always 100%. And I think that uh, really inspired them to also uh, do the same. So this particular Super Bowl, Super Bowl 56, some of the conversation is that could Joe Burrow and Jamar Chase turn into Montana to rice? Uh, I, I figured you might laugh that one off. No, 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 no. I'm not laughing because of that. It's just that these guys in their chemistry and you can tell that, uh, that they're having fun on the football field. Joe Burrows, uh, you know, Jamal Chase, uh, is a exceptional route runner. He knows how to make big plays and, and you got to get that ball in the hands of, the, of your playmaker. So, yeah, you know, the great chemistry, I think they're going to be together for a long, long time and uh, they're going to break a lot of records. And uh, we just have to wait to see if they can, uh, you know, be that tandem. Speaking of records, a a lot of people wonder what type of numbers would Jerry have put up if he played in the rules of today? Quarterbacks protected and DBs can't get physical with you down the field. I mean, that would have been a problem. For, Mark, Mark, yes, Mark. yes, yes, Jerry. Come on. I, I played in the era that that I really wanted to play in because you had to be like a gladiator out there on the football field. Yeah. You, you, you had to establish yourself. You knew that you were going to get hit. You were going to get knocked around. Uh, there was going to be uh, physicality all the way down the field, you know, a tight bump and run. And, and I, I welcomed that. So, you know, in today's football, it's a, it's a little bit different now. And I still uh, re- respect the game of football and I still watch it and I still support it. But, uh, man, you don't see a lot of that tough bump and run anymore. Now players are more protected, which is good. I, you know, I, 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 you know, you want the players to be safe out there on the football field. But I think the thing is when people watch football, they want to see the hitting. Monday night football, when those two helmets collided, game on. You knew that it was going to be a very physical, you know, football game. So, uh, you know, it's just a different era of football now. No doubt. And not, and not saying those guys are soft or anything like that, but the game just didn't change. No, I, I get it. We're not throwing shade at anybody here. Not not, not at all. Uh, speaking of, uh, I'm thinking about you running free, and I'm thinking about Cooper Cup. Like this dude is open. He's five, always open. <laughs> like by five yards. I'm like, why can no one cover this guy? But they can't. I mean, he's. I mean, his moves are sweet. So I, I don't know what you see. What 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 impresses you most about Cooper? I think you know he's. Uh, they do a great job of matching him up, and you notice that he runs a lot of routes on safeties, and there's no way a safety is going to cover cover uh, Cooper Cup. You know he. He's too shitty and he's a good route runner and uh, he makes plays. He makes really incredible plays. And, and I don't understand why defense coordinators, they, they can't see that, you know, because normally you put your um, best corner on their top guy. 
you know, I, I guess, you know, look at Ramsey. I know he wants uh, Chase. You know, he he wants to be that yeah. guy. I, I remember back in the day, uh, Deion Sanders and uh, Daryl Green, those those guys I went up against. So I, you know, I think he's going to continue to make plays. And uh, you look at Matthew Stafford, he's going to get the ball to Cooper Cup. Everything goes through him. Did Dion talk to you on the field? He tried to, but I, I just kept slapping his hand away. <laughs> I didn't, I, you know, when, it, when, when I, when it was kicked off time, when, when we kicked the ball off, you know, I, I tried not to engage uh, with the opponent. <laughs> <laughs> Who, who who would you say was your toughest matchup cornerback wise? I, I would say I would say Deion Sanders and Daryl yeah. Green because these guys they ran like a four two four three, so uh, you knew that you had to win at the line of scrimmage and and that's something uh, that we worked on you know throughout during the week and stuff like that. But I always look forward to that challenge of going up against the best, and and you know that's that's really what we live for. All right, let's wrap up here with with goat trivia on the goat, if you, if you don't mind here, Jerry. Uh, just how well do you know your career? I, I pulled out some things here. Uh -oh. how, are you are you you're nervous? You're nervous. Yeah. yeah okay. okay. All right. How how many years did Jerry Rice lead the NFL in receiving yards? How many years did Jerry Rice lead the NFL in receiving yards? What eleven? Six times in receiving yards. You're you're in in 86, 89, 90, 93, 94, and 95. Oh, I think it was like over 11, 1,000 yards. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, but, okay, I got you. But, okay, but but, yeah. but 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 top. I mean, six times, six times. Okay. Yes. Right. Uh, most. How many times did you in a single season did you lead the NFL in touchdown catches? See, I, don't, I, I don't know. <laughs> I, I love tell going me, through. Tell me, tell me. Six, six times, Jerry. 86, 87, 89, 90, 91, and 93. I mean, I got I got a ton of these, but here. there. I'll give you one that's not about you, but it's kind of about you. There are only two players in NFL history to have multiple 125-yard receiving games in the Super Bowl. You had three of them. Someone has two. Oh, okay. Uh, Chase, chasing you. Now, I'll, I'll give you a hint. He, okay. uh, he, he did it with the Patriots. But it's not, you know. Elman? Elman? No, 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 not Julian Elman. Dion Branch, two oh, times. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you, Jerry, you're the all time leader in the Super Bowl in catches with 28, yards, 589, touchdowns with eight. 215 yards, by the way, Super Bowl 23. That's still the single game record. You're, 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 you're standing the test of time here. My, oh, your, your, your numbers, your numbers are standing the hey, test Mark, of time. Thanks for bringing all of that back up. <laughs> it's so weird because I, I don't remember any of that stuff. Yeah. You know, right? I just, I just, you know, I just played the game that I love playing and that was it. You were playing the game. Let, let, let me ask you a last one here. And I appreciate it working with Marriott, Jerry. Always great to see you. Who, who do you want? Or who, yeah, who, who do you want? Let me say it like that. Uh, playing quarterback for the Niners next year. You any thoughts on that? Uh, I think it's going to be uh, Trey Lance. Okay. You think he's ready? Yeah. I, I, I think uh, it was a great uh, year where he learned a lot. And now the thing is, uh, it's where he's going to be able to come back in and really feel comfortable. So, unless they want to give him more time and they bring someone else in uh, to buy some time. Yeah. All right. Hey, I think you're, you got to go somewhere, but yeah. great to see you, Jerry. Always P pleasure to talk to the GOAT, working with Marriott, looking forward to writing it up. Oh, <laughs> Emmett, what's up, Emmett? That's your, I love the era. Uh, this, this guy, hey, now that's a real GOAT right there, man. <laughs> He's right there. There's, there's yeah. no doubt. There's no doubt. Hey, Jerry, great to see you. Appreciate you. Take All care. Right. Thanks a lot. Yeah.